powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the 530 News on Q2, Montana's news leader. Hello, good Saturday evening, folks. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I'm Dustin Kleeman. We begin with a rollover crash northwest, northeast of Billings. One man is dead, another seriously injured after that rollover crash on U.S. Highway 312. Montana Highway Patrol trooper on scene said the eastbound vehicle went off the roadway for an unknown reason and rolled multiple times. Both occupants of the vehicle were ejected. The vehicle was badly damaged, making the model unrecognizable. The crash happened across the street from Mickey's Tavern. A man was transported to the hospital via helicopter. Speed and alcohol are suspected factors, according to the trooper. Power lines were damaged in the area and crews are on scene for repairs. Please tune in to KTVQ.com or join us tonight at 10 for more information on that. There's intense speculation tonight after it was revealed yesterday that a grand jury has agreed on criminal charges in connection with special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation. No one knows right now who's charged and what they're being accused of because the indictment is sealed. CBS News correspondent Winnie Gillette has more of what we do know. CBS News has confirmed the federal grand jury hearing evidence pertaining to special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation has approved the first criminal charges. Mueller is investigating alleged meddling by Russia in the 2016 U.S. presidential election and whether anyone connected to the Trump administration colluded with the Russian government. A federal judge ordered the indictment to be sealed. What I suspect, uh, given that the investigation appears to be ongoing, is that Mueller has decided to indict certain individuals in the hope that they will, what we call flip. In other words, that they'll agree to cooperate with the investigation. Renato Mariotti says the most obvious potential targets are former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn and President Trump's former campaign manager, Paul Manafort, whose Virginia home was raided by the FBI in July. President Trump has denied any wrongdoing and has called the investigation a witch hunt. Russia has also denied the allegations that it interfered in the election. Former Trump campaign manager Corey Lewandowski downplayed the significance of the charges Saturday on Fox News Channel. The speculation is so insane right now. What we should be focusing on are the continued lies of the Clinton administration, the continued fallacies that they perpetuate. The indictment is expected to become public as early as Monday, when whoever is facing charges could be taken into custody. Wendy Gillette, CBS News. Meanwhile, today, President Trump also tweeted more files will be released regarding the JFK files in the upcoming weeks. We'll come back to Montana. Missoula man exonerated on a 15-year-old rape charge has been released from jail after an arrest of an unrelated charge. Cody Marvel tells MTN News he expects it will be the last time he sees the inside of a cell. Cody Marble was released from prison more than a year ago after prosecutors said a 2002 rape charge was invalid and should be dismissed. But he was arrested again this fall, accused of violating probation from a 2013 drug sentence. On Thursday, a state judge in Missoula said Marble can be on conditional release for another 209 days. 33-year-old Marble told MTN News Friday that he hoped his drug sentence would be erased entirely so he'd be free of any state supervision. He says the conditional release is the next best thing. He looks forward to moving on with his life as a free man. Marble says he plans to live and work in Missoula. Back here in Billings, regardless of the long lines, it was a perfect day of weather for a record-breaking day at Zoo Montana. The annual Boo at the Zoo gave reason for kids and parents to dress up early for Halloween. Roughly 5,000 turned out to the event, which has now become the zoo's biggest event. With a parade, plenty of activities for the kids, they had a chance to learn with Mad Scientists featuring Executive Director Jeff Ewell, some of the zoo's residents. The zoo has come a long way since its darkest days in 2012 thanks to leadership and the community support. Over the past, you know, we've had some struggles and we are on a comeback and it's important for us to have these events and keep growing them. We are supported mostly by admissions, special events and memberships and donations. We don't get any other money. So that's what we're supported by and that's why you see us doing all these fun things and why we're able to keep growing because people keep coming and helping us so we can continue to grow. And don't forget, Zoo Montana is open year-round, so Zoo Lights begins December 8th. Coming up next on the Saturday 5.30 News, more American teenagers are behaving. A new survey explains in medical news. We'll tell you about that. Later in sports, the Grizz with a huge conference test in Utah. Highlights with Weaver State on the way. 
Over in the Weather Center, Rob Griggs, a gorgeous fall day after two chilly ones stand the week. Yeah, and we got a few more of those in the forecast, but really, uh, Dustin, after this nice warm day, boo at the zoo, we've got another cold front passing through the region later on tonight. We'll talk about what, if any, precipitation we can expect. And by the way, don't forget to download your free Q2 Storm Tracker weather app. We'll have the complete forecast, including the trick or treater outlook, in mere moments. You're watching MTN News with Dustin Kleeman. Storm Tracker weather with Rob Griggs. And sports with Casey Conlon. This is the 530 News on Q2, Montana's news leader.